Can you spare a dime for this episode of Haunted Indiana, Ghost and Strange Phenomena of the Hoosier State, written by James A. Willis? Yes, all I need is a dime of your time, because tonight's tale is pennies for Pearl. Early on the morning of Saturday, February 1st, 1896, the body of an unidentified woman was found lying on a piece of farmland in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. The body was headless and lacked identification. It was only after noticing that the woman's shoes bore the stamp of a Greencastle, Indiana store that the body was identified as that of 22-year-old Pearl Bryan who lived in Greencastle. Once authorities knew who the victim was, they began looking into her history to see if they could find the killer. It didn't take long for authorities to show up on the doorstep of Scott Jackson, who had been identified as Brian's boyfriend. Aside from the fact that the investigators usually start with suspects closest to the victim, it had also been determined that Brian had been pregnant at the time of her death. Jackson, a dental student, only hesitated a moment before implicating fellow dental student Alonzo Walling as Brian's murderer. Within 24 hours, both men were in custody. Over the course of the next few days, as Pearl Bryan's body was moved to Greencastle's Forest Hill Cemetery to lie in state pending recovery of her head, police began to piece together the events surrounding her death. It seems that while Jackson's original plan was to force Bryan to have an abortion, that quickly dissolved and Jackson made the decision to kill her. Walling claimed that he did not participate in the actual murder, but that he knew of Jackson's plan and did nothing to stop it from happening. Both men were convicted of first degree murder and sentenced to death for their crimes. They went to the gallows together on March 20th, 1897 and were hanged in the front yard of the new Port Courthouse. To the very end, the one thing Jackson and Walling refused to talk about was the location of Brian's head. After the execution, Brian's family finally had to accept that Pearl's head was never going to be found and they reluctantly buried their daughter. To this day, its location has never been determined. Popular ghost lore holds that when someone passes away missing a limb, or in this case, a head, that the spirit will return to Earth in an attempt to locate the missing body part. If that is true, it would explain why the ghostly form of a headless woman is sometimes seen floating around the tombstones at Forest Hill Cemetery. Some say that it's the ghost of Pearl Bryan still searching for her head. In a strange attempt to help poor Pearl, visitors to her grave place pennies heads up on the tombstone. That way, some say Pearl Bryan will at least have a head come Judgment Day. Over the years, many have visited Pearl's gravesite, having heard of the tragic story. 
people have taken away small chips from her grave marker as mementos. Today there is nothing left of the marker but the base. And with that, we conclude tonight's episode. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to come find me on social media, my links are in the description. Please be respectful to the dead.